Alrighty, hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be introducing you to shapes within the Allegro PCB design environment and walking you through on how to create these yourself or if you need to make edits, what are some quick and easy ways to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll see here essentially uh, one of my inner layers turned on, which comprises of four unique copper feature shapes. And I actually assigned it different colors just for uh, ease of uh, visibility to help us uh, differentiate. But now if I want to go ahead and make some edits, I would go and to my uh, shape drop down menu here, select shape or void cavity, and you'll note that my fine filter has automatically changed. And now as I hover over these different shapes, I get more information and they're also selectable. So let me go ahead and say pick this 12 volt input shape. And if I want to make uh, an edit to a particular edge, you can see that uh, it is easily selectable and I would just pick it and drag it and quick and easy. There it is. You'll also note that the, the red VCC shape actually automatically filled in that region that I had retracted from. And that is because this red shape has been assigned a dynamic fill characteristic which means it will modify as you make changes in a very uh, immediate fashion. Okay, now say I want to draw a new shape rather than edit a pre-existing one, then I will show you how you can do that step by step. So let's actually get rid of this uh, VCC uh, existing shape. And now to create a new shape, I would just go to the shape drop down again. I have options to do a polygon, a rectangular or circular. Let's uh, keep it simple and, and do a rectangular one. Once I do select that function, then in the options uh, pane here, you see a couple of different uh, pieces of information that need to be carefully selected. So first and foremost is on which class and subclass. I think in this case, we want to keep it on etch, but in our power uh, subclass. So that's the right subclass. Uh, we want to make it a dynamic copper. So this ensures it will adhere to the boundaries and overlapping regions. And we also want to assign it to a net. So it was previously VCC. Let's go back to that. And we can either uh, create a, a rectangle as we wish or place one with the specified dimensions. So let's stick with the create and I will just draw a rectangular box as such. And you'll see the dynamic characteristics of the shape right off the get go. OK, now say you want to make an edit to an existing shape and want to redraw a certain region. There's a very quick and easy way to do so. You would uh, simply go down to the shape drop down and select the uh, edit boundary feature. And upon doing so, you would then select the shape of interest. And the next click would be the pick point. And you'll now be able to make the modification as you wish. And if you want to grab, say, one of these edges, rather than having to zoom in and trying to pinpoint it, you can actually use the, the snap to or pick feature. So we'll go snap to here, segment vertex. And there you go, that automatically creates your modified shape in a dynamic fashion. And then just simply go right click, done. So as you're working with dynamic shapes, uh, you may actually run into a situation where it's lost those dynamic properties and looks as such of what's being shown on the screen, right? A bunch of shapes overlapping each other without adhering to their boundaries. Uh, the way to fix this is actually simply just to right click here and under the quick utilities, select the design parameters. And then you want to edit the global dynamic shape parameters and actually do a dynamic fill update to smooth. So right now you can see it's either disabled or it will be out of date and not be updated. So I can just simply go update to smooth or update all. They both effectively do the same thing. And there you go. The features have now been re-updated to match those uh, dynamic characteristics. Okay, and then the last one I want to cover is uh, how to create voids in particular shapes. So once again, the shape drop down and you would go to the manual void cavity. Once again, you have a couple of different options to select from. Let's go ahead with a, a simple circular void and I have the correct uh, active class and subclass and say I want to make a void in this particular shape. So I first select that shape and then now I can draw a circle of the dimension I wish and right click done simple as that 